Hello everybody, I'm Heather Knox, Chief Exec here in NHS Lanarkshire. Welcome to my weekly update for staff. I'm going to start off today just by going through the current numbers around COVID across our hospital sites. Uh, currently we have 90 inpatients and that's down uh, quite considerably now from where we were only a few weeks ago with 163 inpatients. Um, so that is an improving position. We are still, however, faced with uh, difficulties around flow across the sites. We've got increased demand for care packages, which is, in, which is causing some difficulties in terms of resources. So that's making flow through the hospital sites still quite difficult. And we are aware that our staff have been under quite extreme pressure over the last few weeks just dealing with the demand. We have nobody in ICU and five outbreaks within care homes and our staffing sickness levels for COVID related absence are sitting around 1% at the moment. So these numbers are all heading in the right direction. The community incidence, the new patients is at 88. So again, that's down from 207 a couple of weeks ago. So the, the metrics are heading in the right direction, um, but it will take a wee while, I think, for us to start to clear um, some space for flow across the sites. And I'm very conscious of the pressures that people have been under. In order to try and see what solutions we can put in place uh, going into the winter in particular, our partnership colleagues have approached us asking if we could do a joint workforce summit. So we're going to do that with our management team and our partnership colleagues to see what more we can do to support staff going into the winter. Not just about staff wellbeing solutions, but actually looking to see if there's more we can do to get additional staff on the ground. So those summits are happening. Uh, we've got two in the diary. One, the first one's virtual and the second one is face-to-face. -face. So they are really happening over the next few weeks. So I'll keep you up to speed with what comes out of these. I was saddened to hear that there had been a number of patients within our maternity services who had been really disrespectful to our maternity staff. And I know that that has resulted in a reduction in the number of visitors that we're allowing into our maternity services at the moment. I totally support that. We cannot have patients being disrespectful and rude to our staff. They are doing their best. They have been under huge pressure now for a long time. And I support Cheryl Clark in what she's done in deciding that we will reduce the number of visitors within that area to get back under control that situation. And I know she's going to do some more publicity around that this afternoon. I think that's really positive and the comments that we've had back from vast majority of patients is that they do support these measures and um, so it's a heavy heart really that we've had to take them but very supportive of the action Cheryl took this week around that. Finally I just want to say that I am still taking forward work nationally around workforce as well so there's work that I've been doing to take forward international recruitment and a number of other areas which I will update you on going forward but just to say that we have in Lanarkshire now welcomed over the last two months our own international recruits who've come from Kerala and we had eight arrived with us in July and another eight um, have arrived this month. Uh, I think they're a bit cold, some of them have been a bit cold because I think the weather in Scotland's a bit different from the weather they're used to in Kerala but they have said they've had a fantastic welcome. So they are working across all three sites. I think the majority of them are at Wishaw and Monklands, um, but some here Myers as well. And I know you'll join with me in giving them a huge Lanarkshire welcome. When the weekend comes, please do take the time to enjoy the, the nice weather. Thank you for listening.